Introduction You go jogging in a park. The park is a square. Each side of the park is 250 meters long. You take five rounds of the park and return home. Your mother wants to know how many meters you jogged. Can you calculate? The concept that you need to use is perimeter. In this lesson, we will discuss the concept of perimeter in detail. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Define perimeter Calculate the perimeter of a square Calculate the perimeter of a rectangle Calculate the perimeter of other regular shapes Let us now try to answer your mother's question. How many meters did you cover jogging? In every round of jogging, you covered the four sides of the park. Since the park is a square, all its sides are equal. Thus, in one round, you covered 250 plus 250 plus 250 plus 250 meters, that is 1000 meters. Therefore, in five rounds, you covered 5 into 1,000 meters, that is 5,000 meters or 5 kilometers. Now you're ready to answer your mother's question. In this calculation, we used the concept of perimeter when we worked out the distance you covered in one round. Perimeter is the total length of the boundary of a closed two-dimensional figure. Here is a simple technique of measuring the perimeter of a shape. Take a closed geometric shape such as a circle, square, triangle or rectangle made of string. Unite the string and measure its length. The length of the string is the perimeter of the chosen geometric shape. We can generalize by saying that the perimeter of any closed geometric figure is equal to the length of the string with which it is made. Now that you have understood what perimeter stands for, let us try to calculate the perimeter of a pentagon. We have seen that the perimeter of a geometric figure is the sum of the lengths of its sides. A pentagon is a closed geometric figure of five sides. Suppose the lengths of the five sides AB, BC, CD, DE and EA are AB as 4 cm, BC as 5 cm, CD as 3 cm, DE as 3 cm and EA as 4 cm. The perimeter of the pentagon is 4 cm plus 5 cm plus 3 cm plus 3 cm plus 4 cm. That is equal to 19 cm. Let us now calculate the perimeter of a rectangle. Rectangle is a four-sided geometric figure whose opposite sides are equal. Therefore, the perimeter of a rectangle is twice its length plus twice its breadth. We can rearrange a little and say that the perimeter of a rectangle is twice the sum of its length and breadth. We wish to plant flowers on all sides of a rectangular patch of land whose length is 800 meters and breadth is 500 meters. Calculate the total distance to be covered by flowers. The distance to be covered by flowers will be equal to the perimeter of the rectangular patch. The perimeter of the rectangular patch is 2600 meters. Therefore, the total distance to be covered by flowers is 2600 meters. Now let us work out the formula for the perimeter of a square. You are already aware that all the four sides of a square are equal in length. Therefore, the perimeter of a square is 4 multiplied by its side. Now you want to add frills to all sides of a square table mat, length of whose side is 5 centimeters. 
Calculate the length of the frill required. The length of the frill required is equal to the perimeter of the table mat. The perimeter of the table mat is 20 centimeters. Therefore, 20 centimeters long frill is required. It is time to check your understanding. Drag and drop the correct options in the respective boxes. Shapes that have all sides of equal length and all angles of equal measure are known as regular shapes. Square is a perfect example of regular shapes. Another regular shape is the equilateral triangle whose three sides are equal. Perimeter of an equilateral triangle is 3 multiplied by its side. Suppose there is an equilateral triangle of side 3 cm, then the perimeter of the equilateral triangle is 3 multiplied by 3, which is 9 cm. Perimeter of a regular hexagon is 6 multiplied by its side. Suppose there is a regular hexagon of side 5 cm, then the perimeter of the regular hexagon is 6 multiplied by 5, which is 30 centimeters. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Perimeter is the total length of the boundary of a closed two-dimensional figure. Perimeter of a geometric figure is the sum of the lengths of all sides. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 into length plus breadth. Perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into length of a side. Perimeter of an equilateral triangle is equal to 3 into length of a side. Figures in which all sides and angles are equal are called regular closed figures.